Sometimes you come across a lens that makes you think, how is this possible for this price? This was the feeling I had when I first used the Nikon 24mm f1.7 DX lens. Bitingly sharp and still enough character left. All this in a package that costs hardly more than a kit lens. The lens, which is made for Nikon DX APS-C crop cameras, weighs just 135 grams, has a plastic mount and has a muffin shape. You get a small lens hood with it, that offers little added value in practice, but it is charming of Nikon to add this. I will mainly show you what this lens is capable by using photos. Of course within the limits of my own abilities. The Nikon 24mm DX f1.7 lens excels in optical performance, especially considering the price. The wide f1.7 aperture ensures excellent low light performance and the ability to create a pleasantly shallow depth of field with smooth creamy bokeh. This makes it a great option for a subject isolation in portraits and close-ups. The lens is very sharp in the center of the frame, even wide open at f1.7. As you stop down, sharpness improves across the frame, reaching peak performance around f4 to f5.6. Corner sharpness is quite good wide open and improves significantly as you stop down. This lens does exhibit quite a bit of vignetting at f1.7 wide open. Of course the vignetting disappears when you stop down the lens. However, due to the nature of this lens, it gives you a vintage feel together with great color rendering of the image. The 24mm focal length on a DX format camera translates to a 36 full frame equivalent field of view, which is close to the classic 35mm focal length that many photographers prefer for its versatility. It offers a natural perspective that is well suited to a wide range of photography genres. Check out the dimensions of this lens paired with the Nikon Z50. Isn't this an ideal lightweight package for street photography or travel? I couldn't resist testing this prime lens against the admirably excellent 60-50mm kit lens from Nikon. I was showing you the difference using this probably non-award winning photo. For those wondering why you need a fast prime lens, well, here's the evidence. This f1.7 prime lens clearly catches more light than the standard kit lens, as you can see in this example. Great if you're shooting indoors with limited light. Now that that point has been made clear, we can compare the quality of the image with correct exposure. Both lenses are now fully open in this case. With the 24mm that's f1.7 and with the kit lens f4.2. What immediately stands out is that the 24mm shows vignetting as mentioned earlier. With this you get a more three-dimensional effect with the 24mm partly due to the separation of the subject from the background. Your subject is sharp, the background melts away like butter on a summer's day, and you feel like a professional, even if you're just taking pictures of your houseplants for Instagram. Another remarkable thing is that the 24mm immediately gives a sharper image at f1.7. When these two lenses have an equal aperture, we see that the difference in sharpness has increased even more. The color 
reproduction is also much richer than the standard kit lens. The 24mm focuses as close as 18 cm. To give you an idea, I photographed this SD card at the minimum focus distance. The Nikon DX 24mm f1.7 is a striking option for users of DX format mirrorless cameras, offering an ideal balance between performance, size and cost. It is a versatile prime lens that performs well in a range of scenarios from street photography to portraits and landscapes. For those looking for a compact, affordable prime lens that delivers sharp images, great rendering and beautiful bokeh, the Nikon 24mm DX f1.7 is an excellent choice. Whether you're a beginner looking to expand your lens collection or an experienced photographer looking for a reliable everyday prime, this is a lens worth considering. As for me, that is it for now. Be sure to watch some of my other videos of great lenses from now and the past. Thank you very much.